Hello and welcome to this session by Pathfinder Education Services. This session will be useful to you if you're preparing for the IPMAT examination and you have you are in a dilemma as far as the mathematics section of IPMAT IM Indore is concerned. You have doubts about your own capacity to solve questions of maths, you are not good at maths, you're weak on maths, you've been running away from maths, no matter who you are. You cannot give up your dream of joining the IPM program, clearing the IPMAT exam just because of that one subject of maths. You can definitely, definitely do well on maths. You can definitely clear the sectionals if you prepare in the manner in which I am going to talk about in this session. So once again, I welcome you to this session by Pathfinder for me. But first things first. If you are an IPMAT uh, aspirant, we have wonderful course, a crash course as well as year-long course starting for IPMAT. To know more details, you can just WhatsApp us on 93439-21347 and we'll be more than happy to answer your queries, your questions. Uh, our course includes live classes online as well as offline if you're based in Bhopal. Uh, we have video lectures, we have GK lectures, practice sets, mock tests, mentorship, PDF books and sheets and doubt classes. So everything that you need for clearing the IPM exam, IPMAT exam, either I am Indore or I am Rohtak or the JIPMAT conducted by the National Testing Agency, we, our course is more than sufficient to gear you up for these programs. Let's get started. So let us come back to that dilemma of ours. And what is that dilemma? The higher math dilemma. And see, you might be weak on maths, you might not have taken mathematics in 11th and 12th, you may not like to practice mathematics a lot, and you may have never fared well in mathematics section, you are a commerce student or you took commerce only to escape maths, but if you want to crack the IPMAT exam, you will have to do something about it. And I can help you with this dilemma only if you are ready to do something about it. If you are not ready, because you are in this situation only because of you, nobody else. Half of your problem lies here in your mind. So you have escaped or you have followed the escapism route only because you did not want to face maths head on. And trust me, I am telling you that mathematics is one of the easiest subjects if you approach mathematics in the right way. So even if you have not been good at maths so far, if you follow what I am saying, you will end up being good at maths. You know, obviously it will take you some time, but you will definitely improve your ability, your mathematical prowess. So first thing is, if you have come, if you are listening to me, listen to me with an open mind. If you don't listen to me with, a, with an open mind, then whatever I will say is not going to be of any use anyways to you. So let's start with the first point. Kya kar sakte hai? So kya kar sakte hai is an important factor. But before that, kya karna hai? That is also need, you know, you need to know. So what is asked in maths as far as the IPMAT exam is concerned? So you have questions on arithmetic, you have questions on geometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, trigonometry. Then you have questions on permutation, counting and probability. You have questions on determinants and matrices. You have questions on equations, inequations and functions. So these are the five primary areas from which I have seen questions. And still around 30 to 40 percent of questions are based on arithmetic, something like percentage, profit and loss, average, time and distance, time and work. So this forms around 30 to 40 percent of your questions. The remaining part is taken over by, you know, taken up by these areas. Geometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, trigonometry, permutation, combination and probability, determinants and matrices, equations, inequations and functions. Now remember, if I were preparing for higher maths, you know, I would be, you know, it depends on how much time I have on my hands. If you are preparing with an year long time frame, then you should not skip anything. 
But if you are preparing for a crash course, if you think that you have only 25 days to prepare for maths, these two areas, geometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry and equations, inequations and functions are the most time consuming areas to learn. So you can have a choice here. Obviously, when you have a choice, you are giving up on the possibility of solving one easy question. No questions about it. But then if you don't have the time, you have to prioritize. What is it that you can learn fast? And what is it that you can learn fast and score well also? So that is something which is, you know, very personal. It depends and differs from individual to individual. And that is why prepare arithmetic, prepare permutation combination, determinants and matrices. I have seen one question almost every year. This topic can be done in two to three days flat. It's very easy topic. These topics can be done in 10 days flat. Permutation, combination and probability in 3 days flat. And now you can see whether you have time for both or one of them because each of them will take around 3 to 4 days. So that is something which you need to do an analysis yourself. So what do we need to do first? We need to have a look at the syllabus and identify areas which we will target to to prepare on. We can eliminate one area if we are really weak in that area or if that area requires a long long time to prepare. So you have to play smart here. Next. So now that you have prioritized your test areas, now that you know which topics you will cover well, ideally as I have said before also. If you are preparing for a long term course, you should prepare everything, you should not leave out anything. If you are preparing for a crash course, leave out only if you feel that one odd topic is taking a, too long a time to prepare. You know, that's a caveat, that's a warning uh, you know, before you take this advice or before you implement this advice. So you need to work on basics. Now what is the meaning of working on basics? You can refer to your basic books of 11th and 12th. So if you are already a student of maths, higher maths, you should definitely do that. Why? Because whatever you have studied in 11th and 12th will come back to you. If you have never studied in 11th and 12th, don't worry. Seek help for topics that you are not familiar with. You can join a course, an online course. You can look up online forums. But ideally joining a specific course for a specific purpose definitely helps because then your preparation is tailor made to suit that particular examination. Work on basics, when we say basics, it also means look up formulas, look up theorems, make sure you know the theorems, make sure you know properties very well and make sure that you are able to use them wherever it is required. So that is what I mean by basics. A lot around 25% of available time to basics only because basics still will form around 10 to 15% of your test and that is why make sure that uh, you allot around 25% of the time to basic studies. Next. Now this is important. Many people make this mistake of not learning to solve without time limits because solving within time limits means solving under pressure and an examination situation you will always be under pressure of some time limit to solve a particular question. So whenever you are revising, put time limits on everything. So for example, you want to solve 20 questions in one sitting, give yourself no more than 30 minutes or you could give yourself slightly longer durations initially, maybe 40 minutes. But you should aim to reduce it to 1 minute per question. That is what you should try to do. You should take topic wise tests. You should take section test where you have a mix of uh, concepts tested in one test. And you should always, always analyze your performance. Because if you don't analyze your performance, you will not know where to improve. So make sure that you do all this in a planned or a methodical manner. So for the best outcome, you need to do it in a planned and a methodical order. 
so what are these solve within time limits revision also within time limits topic wise and section wise test and after topic wise and section wise test you must learn to analyze your performance to find out your areas of problem or your areas of difficulty or which areas you need most help on next step 3 is to take mock tests now i see uh, you know of late many students they skip on mock tests for any competitive exam that you prepare mock test is the most important event during the entire preparation phase because that gives you a clear picture of whether you are cut out for that particular exam or whether you are weak on a particular area because many a times you will feel that area wise you are doing well so when you take only one test of english you are you are good when you take only one test of maths you might be doing well but the key lies in doing well overall in a combined test in a cumulative test and that only happens when you take the mock test so take mock tests analyze yourself and start working on your problem areas if this is followed one one by one by one systematically and methodically you will definitely improve so that brings us to the last part of today's session so what are the mistakes that people make students make while they are preparing for ipmat exam in fact any competitive exam they don't plan they just launch themselves into the preparation without giving it even one moment's thought whatsoever and if you simply launch yourself without any planning it will not succeed it will not help you second is they don't implement what they have planned you know these are two very common mistakes nobody who starts preparation starts with the idea that you know let me prepare for not getting selected everybody wants a selection but not everybody wants to implement that plan because that involves a lot of sacrifice a lot of pain then students don't revise that's another mistake they don't write mock tests and their preparation is haphazard at best so if you want to give yourself the chance of getting selected please do not make these mistakes study with an open mind try your best and you know if you've done your bit i'm sure the result will always be positive for you that's all from my side remember we are starting with both crash course as well as year long course for ipmat exam if you are interested in them please inquire with us on 9343921347 and we'll try our best to help you succeed in these exams that's all for now thank you very much